Happy Wednesday, guys. How are you? Nice to see you guys. All of you. I think Stephanie's, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but this is kind of just the first Q&A session that I've wanted to put together. Just any kind of questions that you actually may have of the program about your training specifically. Um, things that, um, you know, are in your head, but you have been fearful of talking about, or I'm just going a little too busy going from one to another. Um, and so I just want to dedicate this time for that. We'll have maybe just one or two a month to where I can, can do this to answer any of the questions. And so um, that was just kind of the idea behind this. And I already have um, a couple questions that were asked. And I'm going to start on these ones. Um, and uh, this is actually from Natalie Summer. Um, and she asks, number one, are there uh, any modifications or options for those looking to focus more on muscle hypertrophy? So um, this is a great question, actually. And this is an interesting question. And I'm probably going to have a fork hung when I talk about this, Natalie, and to, to everyone. So um, what we have to do first uh, is we have to have a real specific goal in mind. And there's a lot of individuals now that have achieved a certain weight loss goal. Now, some of you are just starting your weight loss journey, but some of us are coming in. And what has to happen first is we have to actually burn off all of the excess fat on our bodies, okay? Um, I believe very strongly in this because at that point in time, you're gonna understand what your body looks like with uh, a good um, percentage body fat, okay? So, but, but with that said, with the type of programming that I do and the amount of exertion that we do, um, it's not just strictly cardio. So you're not just running, you're not just, you know, rowing, you're not on a treadmill, you're not on an elliptical. It's not just a basic cardio class. Every class that I do, there is resistance involved. Now, it's not resistance to where I'm going to be putting on 30, 40 pounds of pure muscle um, because you want to get on a show stage or you're not a football player required to actually have that kind of weight. I believe very strongly that over time with consistency, with about 60 to 90 days down the road, with the type of program that I provide, that you are going to get the muscle undertone that you desire. And specifically for you, Natalie, you're coming in um, at a point where, yes, you may have a great weight, but I do believe that as we continue to lose just a few more pounds and the percent body fat, that the muscular undertone will begin to show. And that in and of itself will actually be beneficial to you. So uh, um, with the type of programming we're shred with, I believe you're just going to have to give it just a little bit more time because you lost about six pounds within the first week. Um, and then you're going to have to give it about another, you know, probably six to eight weeks to actually start really seeing the, the result. All right. Now, when we get down the road, just a quick deal. Don't get the lightweights, get the heavyweights and don't do as many reps as we normally would do. Slow down on the reps. And then if we're doing 20 of them, maybe do 10 of them, but at a heavier weight. So begin to affect change with heavier weight, increasing of protein. So again, in the nutritional aspect, we all need to make sure when I was looking at your diet log, we are a little carb high and protein low. So we need to bring those proteins up to about 40%. So we have the essential amino acids after we work out and as we repair. Okay. So those are the couple of hints that I want you to do is grab heavier weights, do less rep, but continue along the program, right? Increase your protein intake, but stay at the max calories and continue to do the fasting so that we can decrease the fat stores on the body to show. Cool? I think that's a good way of, of me saying kind of with a forked tongue, out, if, if that made sense. Second question before I get to you guys that are live um, is what are the recommended strategies for muscle recovery and incorporating rest days into the program. So I've built this into the program and I'm a little bit more of a hard ass, okay? I believe very strongly in about five hours to six hours of output a week. The body can handle it. And I'm again, I'm not putting on 400 pounds on your back, really tearing the muscles up to a point where you have to recover. Yeah, you're gonna have a sore ass. And yes, we are continually working, but the body's built for that, right? We're built to hunt, we're built to, to defend, we're built to forge, we're built to move on a daily basis. And we've lost that. So the way that I've created this program is we do have 
um, and I believe this is for you, Natalie. So you're in the evening classes. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, we're lifting in, in, in the main room. We're lifting a little heavier. But then on Tuesday, Thursday, we're in the hot room and we're either on the bar or on the floor and we're doing a lot lighter weights and we're incorporating a lot of stretches. And the last 15 minutes are deep stretches. So when you have two days of stretch and then if you do come on Saturdays, it's abs and stretch only. So you basically have three days of ease and then the other three days of, of heavier um, exertion, all right? Then Sunday, I always take off. Sunday, you know, I do pop-up classes, but there should be one rest day to the, for the body to recalibrate, all right? Um, some trainers out there are pretty conservative. They just want you lifting three days a week and then, you know, every other day off. No, I, you need to be moving at the levels that I'm doing because I'm keeping you at a point where we're, uh, it's safe, all right? The way that I, I guide you. And that's why you have me. So that's kind of the strategy behind shred of exertion and recovery. Cool. So those are, I think, the two questions that I have there for Natalie, which is will be recorded. So um, with that said, I'm going to open up the floor. I know. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I know you got, got caught up. Do you have. Hey, uh, CJ. I know um, you have some specific questions of me as well. I do. I've been with you for a while and I've participated in shred before. But what I am observing is that it has evolved since the first time that I participated in Shred. So yes. I want to understand from you the differences in the early program and where we are now. So um, when we first started Shred about a year and a half ago, it was mainly just to work out six days a week, right? And I, I did the split, like um, the split has always been consistent with what I just described. Three on days, three, um, I don't want to say off days, but they're not off. They're just lower impact. And then I incorporate the, the two days of stretching throughout the weekday and then the half hour on the weekend. The main, the main um, um, additions to the program are number one, the daily homework, the abdominal focus, um, the cardio, really because what I, what I do is I guarantee five inches and 10 pounds. And in order to affect that change, there are two things that I've incorporated in order to affect that change more seriously. It is the daily homework that is in the Evolve Fitness app, all right? It could be 100 sit-ups, 100 V-ups. It could be burpees. It could be bicycles. It could be planks. And it pretty much repeats, okay? When you isolate the core, there's a couple things that occur. Number one, if you're just beginning again, um, it, it releases a lot of bloat, number one, and then it just brings attention to the area to pull it up and in, okay? And then just like anything, if you add focus to the mind-body connection, you're gonna tighten that particular area, okay? Now, overall fat stores aren't gonna come down until we affect diet, which is the nutritional aspect. And I do what we call intermittent fasting or mandatory caloric restrictions. I don't do this every single day, so I don't, um, Doc Shaw Marie, actually JJ's wife, um, JJ also being a doc, uh, her and I are really good partners and we've talked a lot about this. So what I do is I cycle, um, caloric restrictions. Like this week is a heavy one and it's going to be three days. I believe was this week. I did a two, 500 and a thousand. Then what happens? And I'll come back into the detail with this. Some weeks I'll just maybe uh, another week. I'll just do one day at 500. Then another week, I'll do a four day. I'll do a 500, 1,000, 500, and 1,000. And then in the next week, I'll do a two day. And you're going to have to choose the days within the week that work for you, okay? And the main goal to affect change with these caloric restrictions is really insulin resistance. Insulin really is the hormone that governs weight gain and weight loss. And with the way I just described earlier, we're supposed to move. We're supposed to, we're not, we, we weren't born to eat at 5 a.m., 7 a.m., a snack at 9, a grande latte at 10, and then at noon have the lunch and then go have another grande latte at 4 and keep, we're not meant to be eaten this way. So our bodies have not evolved. And that's the reason why there's such a prevalence of diabetes, right? So what we try to do is, is in regards to insulin, when we restrict to only one meal at 500 calories and then the remainder 23 hours, we caloric restrict or we fast, what happens is the insulin levels begin to drop naturally. When they begin to drop naturally like that, the resistance also happens to drop as well. 
So it's not necessarily, and there is an effect when you only have 500 and you burn 1,500 to 2,000 a day. Yes, you will affect weight loss on that effect as well. But what we're trying to do is cycle and affect the insulin because insulin has normally been at this level, the way that we eat now um, in our current times. Now, there are certain individuals and it's only about five to, you know, one to 5% of the population that have Hashimoto's or other issues that I need to be aware of. But for those that are on here, I'm pretty sure you don't experience that. You're just natural humans that just want to lose some weight. So again, I cycle the intermittent fast or mandatory caloric restrictions every week. And that helps affect change. Now, Ebony had a very good question with this. On the days that are normal, you do need to hit your max calories. Now, I have yet to get a, a full like three to four days yet of both Ebony and um, yours, uh, Stephanie's diet logs. Once I get that and I get habits, then what I'll say is, all right, let's go ahead and start off at 1500 or 1600 calories as your daily li limits. Okay. <laughs> now on, on normal days, that's where we need to hit. Cool. We don't want to go above that. Now, if you have a hot day with your, with Mr. Gatlin, Stephanie on a Friday, drink the damn wine and eat the cupcake. But then the following day we need to caloric restrict as well. So it's about learning habits and um, within the program of daily living to where we could sustain. Okay. It is never linear. And it is never a perfect drop with weight loss. Life gets in the way. Stresses get in the way. You may not be able to, you may have a, a, an emergency luncheon where you can't say to the person on the other side that I'm fasting, right? There are just things that occur. But if we, if we for the most part, get 80 to 90% of the fasting schedules down, we're going to affect change in regards to weight loss. So those are the two main differences that I have. And then third, is you have access to 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 11.30 a.m., and then 6 p.m., four, four times a day, with the exception of Friday, 5.30 p.m., and that's Mountain Standard Time. You can zoom into any of those. And then on Saturday mornings, we have the 7 a.m. and the 9 a.m., okay? So there are um, many more classes from which you can choose um, to, to come in, and you can do one or two a day if you'd like, okay? So those are the three main differences that I have with um, what we've incorporated new and I don't wanna say fresh, but I've really honed in the process for this go around uh, for your shred program. Is that fair, Stephanie? Yes, thank you. Now though, I, I do have to say this. Um, I am gonna ask though, and, and I'm gonna put the ownership on you. If there's a little bit of confusion or if there is, you need clarification or if you're a little lost or, you, or something's just not working and I'm not seeing it from my end, I need for you to reach out. Okay. I can't, I can't read the minds and I want to, I want to make sure that you're getting it. And I, I you know, I, I will require Monday's weight measurement. Wednesday is waist measurement and Fridays is full in body or your, your percent body fat, the, the scale that you got, but Ebony wait on Monday and on Friday. And then I do need that waist measurement on Wednesdays. Okay. So today, Ebony, when that needs to go in today. Does that make sense? It does. Thank you. Cool. Um, any other questions, Miss Stephanie? With the weight measurement, you do need, I'm sorry, the waist measurement. You do need that today, even though we just started on Monday. Absolutely. Okay. It's required on Wednesday, please. Every Wednesday. I, I, I try. Today, I messed up the 5 a.m. because I got so excited telling my funny jokes that I completely failed to get waist measurements, but I will make sure it's done tomorrow morning. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. And I am, um, and, and with uh, Stephanie and with Ebony, uh, those of you joining me on Zoom, just give me about five minutes every now and again, because I am back to back and sometimes the computer's rebooted. There's just stuff, but I will be on, okay? Okay. Cool. All right. Any um, any question, Miss um, Ebony, do you have any questions? You're kicking ass, by the way. Good work. Thank you. Can you repeat your times for the morning classes? Yeah, um, it's going to be 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 11.30 a.m., Mountain Standard Time. So I think you guys are Central Time? No, I'm actually local. I'm in Albuquerque. Oh, you are, Ebony? Well, get I am. Here sometime. I, I have my little one, so that's the only thing that prevents me ah, I sometimes. Got times. I got you, Miss Ebony. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Miss Paula, talk to me. Tell me. Talk to me. 
Uh, I was off mute. Um, yeah, I'm I'm so glad we're having this call because um, some of the advice that you gave to Natalie and Stephanie and um, you know is is making sense to me because um, you know I I know that being consistent is on me. Um, but I've, I've just, it's always been in the back of my mind, like, gosh, why did I have success in the beginning? And then here I am, um, you know, I, I'm not getting the results that I used to get. And so, so now I see, well, cause you know, I'm not doing my homework and I'm not, and I'm not doing the, the fat or actually, I think I did the the fasting wrong like you said one one 500 calorie meal and i think i what i did was um i just ate 500 calories for the day but it was spread out so so i now what now i know how to tweak some things but um what i would like to ask you is um i've i fortunately i've maintained my strength and um the 15 pound dumbbells are starting to feel light and so i've you know, been able to, you know, start working with 20 pound dumbbells on certain exercises. But I've been like when I first did ROP 2022, um, I was set at 1200 calories. And I'm wondering if you think I should go up to, you know, should I adjust my calories to 13, 14, 1500? Or should I just stick with 1200 and concentrate on getting my, my protein? So like Paula, focus on the protein. I, I, do, do you mind me being blunt? <laughs> Are you I mean, never I'm not? I'm never, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Paula, um, what, what, you hit it right at the beginning, consistency. And you had a lot of trips. I see a lot of the Facebook events that you go to with the bowling and the pizzas and, you know, just different events. It's not, I believe you were very strong Monday through Friday, but then come the weekends, we tend to go off into La La Land. Yeah. Um, and where we have to really hone back in when you were consistent with Rise of Phoenix, and this is good for everybody that is online, you can work your ass off Monday through Friday, and then comes uh, 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 Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday, you can, can you can take back all the gains that you just made over that the, over the weekday, okay? And I'm gonna be very real with you, Paulo, on that one. That I believe is where your where your goal will be is to focus and hone in every Saturday and every Sunday. Your calories need to stay at whatever we design or develop. It, I think we're going into nuances here where I believe that some weekends I've been seeing almost two to three thousand calories um, a day, and those are those fluctuations where you're maintaining. I get it, but you're not going to lose with those kind of weekends. Is that fair? Yeah. And yeah. that is where we need to hone in and focus. So let's come back to the basics. No matter what caloric loads that you're at, promise yourself and meet them. Okay. Does that make yeah. sense? And yeah. let's do that for about two to three weeks. Let's see if we can begin to affect change just with that little nuance. And then we can really dive in on calories and macros and all that stuff again for you. Is that okay, Paula? Okay. Yeah, that so sounds the, good. For your marching orders for the next two weeks. Make your workouts, do your mandatory caloric uh, restrictions, do your homework, and then on the weekends, maintain your calories. Is that fair? Okay. Yep. I want to see within two weeks, and then let's let's you and I touch base again and see what we've done. Cool. Okay. Yep. That sounds Everybody's good. a little different, and Paula, it's it, it it creeps up on you. Little habits like that creep up on us. They do. They do, and and you don't even see it. Um, but I, 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 I'm, I'm, I am a, a victim to that as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You got it. Janet. Yes, sir. Any questions? I'm here. You have Jan Welcome home, Miss Janet. Janet. Was Thank you. Me. Janet, you've been with me since 2008. Holy magaroli. Yeah, man. I know, right? One of your oldest clients in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> but you look fantastic. Do you have any questions, Miss Janet? Um, I joined late, unfortunately, so maybe you already answered this, but what, what happens on the weekend with Shred? So 
7 a.m. on Saturday, we do abs and deep stretch. So 30 minutes of abs in the hot room and then a deep stretch for 30 minutes. Uh, but we also have uh, 9 a.m., which is shock, which is cardio. So you can do one or the other or both. Those are two okay. um, that go on. Not uh, the last two Sundays, I did a 9 a.m. yoga class. Um, not this Sunday. Um, the next couple, of, I, normally I'll do a pop up on a Sunday at nine. Okay. Okay. And you haven't talked to me about diet or calorie or anything, but should I just start with yeah. on the program? That's exactly right, ma'am. So okay. what needs to happen now is you need to download my fitness pal again. Okay. You need I to start getting your my fitness pal going on a daily basis. All right. Okay. Um, and then what I need to do is just like with Ebony and with Stephanie, who started this week with you, is I just need to get your habits. And then what we'll do is we'll formalize a max caloric load like we were just discussing with Paula. Okay. And the mandatory, the messages you get in the app, that caloric restrictions go for everybody. Unless I have told you otherwise. I think I only have about four gentlemen that I'm not doing that with. Like um, Nick right now has lost everything, but we need to gain 10 pounds of muscle. So I have him on a different program along with, um, 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 well, there's a couple others, okay? But when we get to that point and you, the, we, we need to do something different, then then we could talk about that. But for now, okay. let's, let's affect that change, okay? All righty, will do. Cool, thank you. Welcome home, Miss Janet. Thank you. Absolutely. Natalie, do you have any questions? I think you got mine at the beginning. Thank you, that was helpful. Awesome. All right, cool. So then you did hear it then? Yep, I did. Beautiful. Awesome. Mr. JJ, anything? Uh, I, I saw your message about a, a parking placard. I don't know anything about that. Okay. I will get you one. Just remind me. I will get it to you. Um, right. we even just now, um, the neighbors across Edith have given us their parking lot early a.m. and p.m. Um, the only, the, what, you come to the 5 a.m.? Um, Clear Channel actually reports in the morning, but they're getting their building work on right now. And within about two weeks, we'll be able to park in their parking lot too. Um, and then we have our, our rears and all stuff. But I think we're starting to figure that out. But I'll get you that parking placard um, as well. Okay, JJ? All right. Thanks. Absolutely. Ms. Stephanie. TJ, I'll be working in town next week. Um, where's the new location? Yeah, so I'll be coming to see you. All right. 4121 Edith. So we're about only about three minutes away from our old location. So we're between Comanche and Candelaria off of Edith. Okay. Thank I'm you. I'm excited to have you. Sweet. Yeah. Hey. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Mr. Gallon. I'll take care of her, all right? <laughs> all right, guys. Awesome. Anything else, team? Hey, guys. I honestly am honored and humbled to be called your trainer. Thank you guys for being just awesome. Thank you guys for being patient and having grit and uh, flexibility with me. I, I, I'm i humbled with you guys. I show up every day to kick your guys' ass, and I love seeing all your, your your progress, all right? So I love you guys, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Cool being, Ms. Ms. Gatlin, you have you raise your hand again? Yes, Vincent wants to talk to you um, once you've ended. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you. Love Thank you, you too, CJ. Right, Thanks, bye. CJ. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Hey, good, sir. What up there, Mr. Gallon? How the hell are you? I'm doing well. Doing well. I am not participating in the program, but I did have a question for you. <laughs> yeah, tell <laughs> hey, me. We, we pay the fee every month. I can ask the one question. So I, I've been um right. Let me turn. I want to I want you to see me. Let me turn some light on. <laughs> I love it. Oh, um, so I, I've I've gotten back on the journey. Okay. What I, what I really found that works for me is I have like a Peloton, so I ride a lot. Man, I do fifteen to twenty miles every morning. Um, every um, uh, at, at least six days a week, and that's really getting me. I've lost sixteen pounds. Um, so I'm really seeing some reasons. Well, I appreciate it. I, and, you know, when I first started, we were doing some of the virtual stuff. Um, but I still do. And Stephanie still does that. But um, I heard you talking about um, the core and the the obliques. And my belly is has always been my issue. 
any suggestions that I can get from you, just real five minute suggestions, what I can do to really focus on the belly area. All right, 100 sit-ups a day, start now, full sit-ups. Then, yeah, you asked, on Saturdays, on Saturdays, join your wife at 7 a.m. live with me. It's abs for a half hour and deep stretch. You need it anyways, and that's on me, okay? So that's what I need you to do starting today. 100 sit-ups every single day, and then starting on Saturdays at 7 a.m., you and the missus chime in with me. It's 30 minutes of abs and 30 minutes of stretch, and it's it's it'll be right up your alley. Sound like a plan? Sound like a plan. Do me a so, favor. Do me a yep. favor. Get a waist measurement today as well and report it with your wife. Okay, we'll do. Okay, and I'll help you we'll out. Well, hey, man, I appreciate it. Listen, let me tell you something. You ready for this? Go for it. Man, we love you, man. <laughs> and I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> totally. This is what I love doing, dude. This is and my CJ, passion. I know you haven't seen us in a long time, but we do. We use, well, I use our virtual membership. So when I reached out to you asking about the classes, usually I have like new classes in my to-dos. And I, I use them. I, I work out with you and Cedric all the time. I love it. I we, love have, it. I love it. we have not found anybody or anything that gets us where we need to be like you. Oh, so I, I, I ask Stephanie all the time. I said, have you been seized? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, you watch. You watch. I told her yesterday because our asses were burning. I said, when Mr. Gatlin says you have a tight ass, you say, yeah, hell yeah, I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She, oh, she's blowing up something. The blue balls. You know, they're very painful. <laughs> well, brother, we appreciate you. <laughs> All right, um, guys. Thank you, guys. You need something, if you need anything from us, let us know, but we get to work. Yeah, get to work. So waist measurement, show up 100, 100 sit-ups daily. Cool? Got it. Thank you. All right, man. All right, have a great day. Bye, guys. Day. See you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.